All right, we're back once again with Brett from Huxworks, and we're talking muzzle devices today. We've got a, a plethora of items here on the desk. We've got 762 muzzle devices. Mm -hmm. We've got 556 mm -hmm. specific muzzle devices. We've got different lengths. We've got some blast diffusers, hubs, right. and of course your, your flow through cans here. Let's start on the 556 muzzle devices that we sure. have on the, on the table. So we've got uh, three of them here, it looks like. Uh, we'll start with our, our brake that we have here. One thing you're gonna find across all of our muzzle devices is that they already come set up for a pin and weld. I don't know if you're able to get this on video. They're already indexed, they're already pre-drilled. So right. for the guys that wanna do a pin and weld, it's one less thing that you have to worry about. The other part that makes our muzzle devices different from everybody else's with having flow through technology on our suppressors, part of the process is getting the gases spinning the moment they leave the barrel. So you look at the outside of this muzzle device, you'll see it looks straight, right? There's no, there's no spin to it, there's no twist. But if you actually were to look through the inside, you'll see the inside of it actually starts to have a spiral. And part of that is to get those gases spinning to start the process required for a flow through suppressor to function properly. Cool. Yeah. So as you can see that on right on the outside, you can see it here, even on the ones that, you know, it's not obvious, even on the inside, we still have that same feature. Starting with muzzle devices, uh, I'll talk about the hub here in just a second. Uh, starting with 30 cal, so flash hider brake. Then we go into 5.56, we have a brake. We have a flash hider here as well. And then we start going into our extended length muzzle devices for the guys that don't want to pin and weld uh, 13.7s, 13.9s. Our standard muzzle device, you can pin and weld on a 14.5. Okay. When you start getting into 13.9, we have the long one here and then the extra long here for the 13.7. And you'll know that these are already also set up for a pin and weld as well. Right. So they come out, out of the bag that way. When we start looking at our hub adapter, so when we launched the Ventum 762 end of 2023, we came out with our hub adapter. So this would allow you to run any hub adaptable suppressor or Bravo thread suppressor on our muzzle device. So this would simply simply screw into the back of the Ventum or any other hub adaptable suppressor that you have. And then we'll go under our muzzle device, you'll twist it on, and then you'll turn this locking collar here to lock it in place. And we have everything engraved on here for you, show you which way is lock and unlock, tells you foot pounds of torque uh, required to achieve torque, that way you don't have you know, your, your accessory back out of the suppressor while you're shooting. Excellent. And that also works on the new 556. Five, it does. It also works on the Ventum 556 five, as well. So moving from muzzle devices onto things that go on muzzle devices, as you said, we have our suppressors here, but we also have our blast deflectors here. We call this the blasphemy. Uh, we offer it in multiple colors. In the event you go to the range or into a range, you don't want to bring your can or in certain states that, you know, customers can't own suppressors, right? We're noting that this is a, a pretty popular option for them as well. It doesn't, it doesn't bring down decibels. It just helps direct that concussive force and the gases and the flash forward. That way it's not hitting you or hitting your buddies in the chest while you're having a range day. It doesn't take the fun out of it for everybody. Right, right. How much does this, when let's say precision shooters, you know, mm -hmm. some of them don't like having a can mm -hmm. because of the mirage. Will, will, will this mirage as bad as a can will, or does it? No, it, it, it doesn't, out? it doesn't try to contain as much heat as a suppressor okay. does by nature, right? Suppressor is slowing and cooling gases as they come out of the gun to help bring that noise down. With these, because you're not trapping the gas, you're not, you know, starting a flow process like you would in our suppressors, it's just going out the front. You're not gonna put as much heat into that, that blast deflector as you would normally. And because you're venting it all forward, again, you're not getting it back in your face or, you know, back in the chest. You're not throwing up a lot of debris on the ground. You know, if you're shooting prone, right. especially in an optic, you're not blowing a bunch of trash up in right. your face so for, in your optic. So for those QP guys that are shooting and want to run a suppressor sometime, mm -hmm. and then other times in competition, they don't want to right. run a can. These are, this is a great option because you can just thread this down over your muzzle device and be, be golden. It's not a permanent attachment. Right, exactly. Okay. And in keeping with Huxworks Safety Company, uh, we want to make it as easy for our customers to run our suppressors, you know, change them between gun without running into any issues. So we'll take our, our 30 cal muzzle device here. While you can take the Flow 762 tie and put it on there and everything threads on like it's supposed to, if you have a 30 cal muzzle device, you know, 30 cal through hole and you take a 556 suppressor, you can't actually mount it on there. Right. So we do that to help prevent customers from having that, that oops, right? Now you have a 30 cal hole through the end of your 556 suppressor. Right, that's, right. It's a bad day for anybody, you know? Right, and that's just because the outer diameter of this 
is larger than the right. diameter of right. the first ring. But it's 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 so small, you know, just looking at it, you're not going to know the difference right. in the two, but when you try to fit them together, is when you'll see that they, they don't mesh. Because the thread, uh, is the thread diameter the same? The outer thread diameter on these? Uh, very, very similar. Very, well, uh, blasphemy work right, on yes. the 762? Right, yes it will. And the 556? Yes it will. Okay. So you're going to find the, the, the difference in the construction of the overall muzzle device while the pitch is the same, the taper on it's the same, you're going to find the physical difference between the muzzle device and the suppressor won't allow that suppressor to land out on the threads like it's supposed cool. to. Very interesting. One one note here, we've got the the 13.9 mm -hmm. and the 13.7. Mm -hmm. This is the L, mm -hmm. right? And this is the XL version. The L version's no longer going to be manufactured right. That, right now. That is being discontinued and moving everything over to the 13.7 mu muzzle device, uh, correct. So one thing to take note of on the 13.7, uh, and it's been brought up before, is the, I guess you could call it the shoulder mm -hmm. of the muzzle device, is a little bit elongated to get it to the proper length mm -hmm. for 13.7. And on some rails, mm -hmm. you might want to check to see how much of the end of this is coming out. I know on some of Sun's guns mm -hmm. that they're using the 1365, I believe, rail, and it's coming up just enough to, give you some to where you can get the clearance so you can get the can on and off, no problem, but you're covering up this extra shoulder. Right. And, and it looks really good. And some of those uppers, uh, we've already sold some of those uppers and we've got them on order from Sun's as well, but these two muzzle devices are becoming very, very popular right on the heels of this one. Uh, we, we're not seeing a lot of the 7.62s go, okay. but with Sun's new precision barrels, I, I, I feel a disturbance in the force yes. that these things are gonna be a little bit more popular. Yes, I agree. Um, so it, it's really cool. We're really excited for the new 5.56 Ventum can. The ones that we have in stock currently are all available. We've got all the muzzle devices on our website. And you should also be able to get the shim kits here yes. very soon as well. Uh, probably before this video is released. Anyway, if you've got any questions, one, thanks for showing up today. Absolutely, thanks for having me. Really enjoyed having you I in love the shop, as always, and really enjoyed you watching today as well. So, karate chop that bell, hit a like, drop a comment, share the video. You know what to do. Thanks for watching.